In the last video, I showed you how I create a basic radial rosette pattern using the radial rosette maker jig. If you haven't seen that video called making a radial rosette, you should check that out first. It lays the groundwork for what I'm going to demonstrate here. So now we're going to add a little complexity to the basic radial pattern. And we're going to do this by offsetting the outside cut in relation to the inside cut, so that the rosette will taper down in width as it approaches the fretboard. This gives the rosette a sort of extra-dimensional appearance, like it's a three-dimensional object superimposed over the two-dimensional plane of the guitar top. In other words, it looks really cool. I've also used two different brighter woods to highlight the widest part of the rosette, and I've framed those radial segments with white fiber strip material. I'll talk a little more about that part of the rosette later on. Now let's get started. The first thing I do when I know that I'll be adding an offset to my rosette is pull the 3 16 of an inch pin out of the center pinhole and place it in the offset pinhole. When you're routing the rosette, the outside cut is always first, so it makes sense to start with the pin in the offset location. Now with the pin in its proper place, you can cut the radial segments and assemble the rosette. As I already mentioned, these steps are covered in detail in the Making a Radial Rosette video, so I won't cover them here. Let's skip to the part where the radial rosette segments are already assembled. So here's the assembled rosette with the two accent pieces framed by wedging this fiber strip material between the radial segments. The strips look something like this. Stumac and LMI sell fiber strips like this, but really any supplier that sells purfling strips or binding will also have dyed fiber strips. Of course, this is not something you need to add an offset to your rosette. This is just another way to add a unique touch to your design. So take it or leave it. Next, I set up a Dremel tool in a circle cutting jig, and I place the circle cutting jig on the pin. Remember, the pin is already in the offset location. Now I set the circle cutting jig to the appropriate radius to make my outside cut. I adjust the bit's depth to make an initial just grazing pass. Every pass I make with the Dremel begins and ends at the narrow end of the rosette, simply because that part of the rosette will be covered by the fretboard tongue. So any issues that potentially occur from starting and stopping the bit will be covered by the fretboard anyway in the end. I continue making passes in this manner, adjusting the bit's depth by a 32nd of an inch or less every time. Once I'm through the workpiece, I then remove the pin from the offset hole and set it in the center hole. Now I set the radius for my inside cut and away I go. And there you have it, a radial offset rosette. If you learned something here, please give this video a like and subscribe so you can be notified when I release a new DIY guitar making video every Friday. And if you want to really learn more, take one of my structured online courses at ericschaferguitars.com or register for a hands-on guitar building workshop here with me in Burnville, Pennsylvania.